Hello everyone, welcome back, here is Van Amsen and today we are diving into a different flavor of candy distribution problem. We are not just going for two-path solution, so we are going for one-path algorithm. Make sure to stick around uh, till the end because you will uh, like it. So for those new here, let's quickly go over the problem statement. You uh, got a line of kits and each with a unique rating. And our job is to distribute candies in such a way that each child get at least one candy and kids with higher rating get more candies than their neighbors. So uh, let's revisit our uh, classic uh, examples. So given rating of one, zero, two, how can we distribute uh, our candies? So uh, everyone gets at least one, but then this uh, with rating two need have to more than zero and same with one more than rating zero. So instead of one, let's give him a two and here also uh, we can give two candies. So total will be five and our output should be five because we distributed five candies. So uh, I hope uh, you understand uh, example better now. So you might be wondering what's so special about one pass solution. Well, we are optimizing our algorithm to go through the list just once, making our code faster and also more efficient. So, uh, all right, let's start coding this up with uh, Python. So now the first thing we need to uh, do is set up some uh, initial values. So uh, return up, down and pick. So uh, here return is uh, initialized to be one. So if uh, not rating, we can return zero and then uh, return up, down and peak and it will be one, zero and zero. So uh, return uh, initialized to one because remember each child must have uh, at least one candy. So we start uh, our counter uh, at one and uh, for the first child uh, up, down and peak uh, are used to track how many steps we uh, gone up and how many steps we gone down and what the peak rating is uh, respectively. So uh, they all start at uh, zero. So now let's dive into the loop. So. Uh, let me implement it. So for previous and current in zip of rating minus one, rating one. So uh, we are using Python zip function here to pair each element with its next neighbor. And this will allow us to easily compare each pair and determine how the candy should be distributed for the particular uh, pair. So now comes the uh, fun part. So uh, conditions, so if previous less than current, up, down, pick, up, one, zero, up, plus one, and treat will be one plus up. And else if previous equal current. So uh, what does it mean? So if the current rating is higher uh, than the previous one, so previous uh, less than current, that means we are going up a hill. So we increment up and reset down to zero because we are going uphill now and the peak is updated uh, up plus one because we reach a new peak. So also notice uh, return uh, plus one plus up. So we add uh, one for the current child and then up additional candies to ensure that this child has more candies than last one uh, satisfying the problem uh, requirements. So now uh, else uh, previous equal current. So up will down, pick and zero and return uh, plus one and else, so yeah, else will be up, 
down, zero, down, uh, plus one. So uh, let's go through next condition. So if current rating equal the previous rating, we uh, reset up, down, and peak to zero. And the child with equal rating will get one candy each. So we simply increment return by one. So now uh, the uh, else statement. So if the current uh, rating is uh, less than the previous one, we are going down a hill. So uh, return plus one plus down minus int p greater than down. And uh, so we uh, reset up to zero and increment down. And now why return uh, equal one plus down minus int uh, peak greater or equal down. The one plus down is straightforward. We are giving one candy plus down additional candy to make sure this child uh, has more than uh, the next one uh, down the hill. And the int peak greater than down. So this part is a neat trick. If the peak is greater than or equal to down, it means that we uh, already allocated enough candies at uh, the peak. So we reduce the total candies uh, return by one. So, and uh, this is how uh, we solve uh, the candy distribution problem using a one pass algorithm. And the logic here is uh, to keep track of your journey up and down the hill of renting and distribute the candies accordingly. So last uh, most important part. So we need to return. So return our uh, return. Uh, let's run it to verify it's working for this test case. So yeah, five candies, all good. So the time complexity of uh, this one pass solution is O n, so linear, and we are only using a constant amount of extra space. So the uh, space complexity is also O one. So let's submit it for and synthesis cases to verify uh, everything worked perfect. So yeah, all working good. And as you can see, our implementation beat 95% with respect to runtime taking uh, 132. So uh, a bit uh, less than two pass uh, approach. So the logic here uh, is, yeah, uh, to keep track of how many steps we go up and down and then distribute the candies accordingly. And the variable peak help us to know the highest point before going down, uh, which is uh, crucial for candy uh, distribution. So now if Python isn't your uh, go-to uh, language, uh, check the link uh, in the description below for implementation in uh, Go, Rust, C++, and much more. And this problem isn't just about distributing candies, uh, it's about understanding the underlying pattern and uh, optimizing your solution. So whether you are preparing for an interview or just love solving uh, problems, mastering both two pass and one pass algorithm is uh, crucial. Uh, so yeah, happy coding, keep practicing, stay motivated and see you next time.